Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I just want to give you a quick update on a game that I posted recently called Escape from Jail. Um, one of the people that viewed it, her name's Julia, super nice young lady, um, she left a comment on the videos and I'll, po I'll post that on the screen here. The comment basically asked if I had considered the impact that that game has on students who have family members who may be incarcerated. To be honest, uh, first of all, I do appreciate the, the comment, the critique. Um, I had thought about the fact that I don't think that this game is going to lead to kids ending up in prison later on because they played Escape from Jail in elementary school. But I hadn't really considered the impact on kids that have family members who may be in jail or prison um, and how that could make them feel or the negative impact that, that could have on them. I say all that to say that I'm going to um, be changing the name of that game to Catch Em All. Uh, it'll be based on kind of Pokemon terminology and stuff like that. And I'll be posting a new video with the updated rules and all of that soon. Give me a little grace there. Hopefully I'll get it done this week, but we're also starting back to school this week. Uh, I'm not that smart of a guy. I'm not a philosopher, but I do know that between now and election season, um, there's going to be plenty of arguments online, plenty of mudslinging, plenty of people on different sides of a particular view. And, um, they're going to be rude to each other. It's going to get nasty. So I think it's awesome uh, to have some examples of adults having conversations where they either agree or disagree. In this case, Julie and I agreed. But even if we hadn't, I think that we could have had um, a conversation where we were both respectful to one another. I think that's great. So again, Julia, thank you so much. And uh, be looking for that video to be posted in the near future. Thanks, guys.